Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's King Vita here. And today I wanted to talk about, well, make a video on horror movies. I don't know. I like, really like horror movies, and I just wanted to uh, talk about horror movies. So I have quite a bit of, um, as you know, everything is uh, categorized. And I recently added a uh, sticker to tell where where I am so there is sci-fi uh, Japanese monster movies animation action adventure and we'll move on to the horror section here I recently put miscellaneous because this part is horror movie but it's also miscellaneous here and so is this part B um, just random stuff but we'll move on to the horror section here so first off we have dawn of the dead now dawn of the dead is a really interesting movie at least to me it is um i got the what is this this is the ultimate edition i got the ultimate edition uh which is comes in a sleeve case like this i'm sure i've mentioned it in my other videos but if you haven't here it is, George A. Romero's Dawn of the Dead. And on the back, you have all these people. On the front, you have the zombie, and it says George A. Romero's Dawn of the Dead. Nothing on the, nothing on the top, but at the bottom, you have all these uh, stuff, information. And this was 1978, so really cool stuff here. So over here you have the, excuse me, over here you have the zombie, the, like one of the zombie pictures, and on the back you have another one, and I think this is one of the actors from the movie, I don't know, I'd have to go rewatch the movie. So you have a bunch of zombies and really disgusting stuff, and a picture of the main cast as well. When there's no more room, the dead will walk the earth. I like how they put Earth with a minuscule, I don't know, rather than a capital, a lowercase rather than a capital. But uh, here is a weird, here's the detail of the, you know, mall that they, that they're in. And let me zoom in here, move it a little closer. There's a fountain court, there's a center court, clock court, the mall entrance. So the entire movie is set in this mall. Most most of the movie is set in this mall, surrounded by zombies. So there's a European version, and you have documentaries here. Uh, the documentary is casts interview by Claudio Arghetto, Dario Arghetto, Pat Buba, Tony Buba, all these, um, including Chris Romero and George Romero everything that of the people that made this movie the, the um of course you get three different cuts of the of the movie i'll show those off later um and there's a tour they actually tour the entire mall with uh ken forey really nice uh stuff behind the scenes that you know uh other versions of this uh movie won't have as well as over here, you have the U.S. theatrical version, 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 with which brings the theatrical trailers. Uh, it's got posters, radio spots, TV spots, and it's got a comic book preview. It's got a preview of the comic book for the movie, which I have as well, and I will show that off a little later. So you got the widescreen presentation enhanced for 16 by 9 TVs. Basically the extended version has more to offer than the US theatrical version. So you got audio commentary by Richard Rubinstein. So this is a really really good uh box set. And uh here's the comic book that, that it comes in. There's George Romero and his signature right there. So there's the comic book. And it's released by IDW. 
This is the first issue. And I like that they actually put the, the logo of the movie right there. Actually put it here on the top left. Really nice. And on the back you have, you know, other books that you, that you might be interested in. So it is the comic book right here. It's Dawn of the Dead number one. I wonder if there are more. I don't know. Leave me in the, uh, let me know in the comments below if there are more of these. I would love to read these. Yeah. What happened and how they were trapped, how they got to be trapped in the mall with a bunch of zombies everywhere. And Pretty interesting read. Really nice stuff. Move this down here. There you go. So there's a U.S. theatrical version, the extended version, as well as the European version. And you also got documentaries or behind the scenes of the movie. Very cool. Very cool that they put uh, three different cuts of the movies just so you could see how, you know, how they, uh, what showed up in theaters and what didn't show up in theaters. Like the extended version, you know as well as the European version, which is completely different than the American version right here. And I do like the, um, I do like the box they come in with this little uh, push tab here. You just push it and stick your finger in either, either one of these four um, grooves here and you just pull the DVD out. That's cool. I like that. I really like that mechanism. And these are all DVDs. Like, these are all normal DVDs. These are not Blu-ray or anything like that. They're just regular plain old DVDs. So that's really nice. Really, really nice. Let's see if I can fit this in here without, hang on. There you go. And there you are. Whoops, have it backwards. There you go. I, I like the, the box that they put it in um, because it's got these raised letters. This uh, It's embossed, Dawn of the Dead. It's embossed on this, uh, on the cover. And, you know, it gives you a sense of quality that, you know, that it has, that the Ultimate Edition has. And it's not just something that's painted on. That's cool as well as the back where everything is like gloss, but the characters, the outline of the characters and stuff are uh, matte, I think. No, there are gloss, but, uh, excuse me, but there are different, they're a different kind of gloss. So they stand out with the red and the black and very nice. So there you have one horror section which is uh one one thing of horror which is dawn of the dead and now we're moving on to evil dead evil dead is one of those movies where it's really gruesome terrifying but it's also kind of weird with the um with the idea of the of the cover here i don't know why they did they did this but if you open this, let me put this in the light here. There you go. This is a one of those, you know, transparent. I mean, you can, you you could see 
reflections on the disc, so it's one of those reflective discs and was released by TriStar. This is another good movie. Uh, it's it's a remake. It's actually a remake, but it's... I mean, it's good, but one question that still boggles my mind is why did they use this cover, this, this uh, scene in the movie for the cover of the DVD? I don't know why they did this. This scene is uh, questionable, really questionable, but... Um, It's, 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 it's a good remake, at least to me. To me, I think it's a really good remake. And, I mean, you guys should definitely see it if you like Evil Dead, for sure. I, sadly, I don't have Evil Dead 2, or the original Evil Dead. Um, I just have this one. But it's good. It's, it's actually a good movie. I think I might watch this soon, as well. Uh, this is a really, um, interesting remake of Evil Dead and it has all the like all the parts of the original yes even the questionable even the questionable parts but I mean it's it's good it's really good I like it and moving on from Evil Dead uh, I have Evil Dead 3 which the original, I would be, I believe it would be called Evil Dead 3, which is Army of Darkness. Now, this was released by Universal, and this is, um, this is a really, really good movie. I've seen this movie quite a bit, and this movie does have the Hail to the King baby ending. So, this is one of the, this is, um, this is the version that has the Hail to the King baby ending, as well as, you know, there it is, alternate ending. And it shows how they made the the effects of the of the, the 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 skeletons, the zombies right here. It's one of the special features behind the scenes. So really, really good. And this is a re digitally remastered picture in 5.1 surround sound. Uh, this is the they call it a screwhead edition, um, and it's with Bruce Campbell right here. I do like that uh, Bruce Campbell is in this movie. He's he's like he to me Bruce Campbell's like the he's like the comedian, you know. He's like the 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 the, the joke of the whole movie, even though this movie's supposed to be serious, which it is. I've seen this movie quite a lot, and it it. Is serious, but it doesn't take itself too serious, especially with Bruce Campbell throwing in jokes and and being Bruce Campbell. The only way to be Bruce Can Campbell is to get Bruce Campbell to be Bruce Campbell. Um, but yeah, Army of Darkness is a really good movie, and if you like uh, zombie movies, and you know, this is one to watch. This is definitely one to watch, and he. His character is insane. He he has a he has a handoff like he loses an he loses a hand and replaces it with a chainsaw. He has a, a rifle on the other. This is I mean this movie is insane. It even has like weird special effects on masks and I mean you just have to see this movie. This movie is really really good. There are some funny parts for the most part, but it's, it's a zombie movie. It's action. It's just really, really good. Definitely check this out. Army of Darkness. And, uh, you could tell, you could tell, uh, that where the inspiration from, uh, Spider-Man and another movie called Drag Me to Hell, um, come from because, I mean, it's from the same director. It's Sam Raimi. One thing Sam Raimi knows how to do, uh, and he does very well are horror movies. I don't understand why the, he decided to go the superhero right, superhero right, superhero route. I'm not sure, but uh, Sam Raimi, I think, is one of the. Um, he's not the best, but he's one of the best uh, horror movie directors. He makes really good horror movies. Yeah, so Army of Darkness, really good stuff. Uh, then we move on to the Halloween movies. 
uh, I don't have the original Halloween, but as you can see, but I do have two from Rob Zombie. The hollow, this Halloween, Halloween one and Halloween two, family is forever. Okay, deviating from zombie now and moving on to the Halloween movies. I really like this movie. These are not the original, as I've mentioned. These are the remakes, but I mean, I don't know why, but for whatever reason, they decided to put, uh, who is it? Malcolm, Mc yeah, Malcolm McDowell, I think. Yeah, Malcolm McDowell. He's um he he he's a really good character in this movie, but he doesn't I don't know, he doesn't he just doesn't really do much. But I don't know, he's there. He's Malcolm McDowell, even though he doesn't really do much in this movie. Uh but the whole premise of this movie, uh just like the original, would would be the main villain. So, Michael Myers is back, uh, as if he ever left, but, uh, yeah, Michael Myers is, uh, the, the actor who plays Michael Myers in this movie, I mean, he probably saw the original by, Ro um, uh, John Carpenter, yeah, John Carpenter, he probably saw the original by John Carpenter, because, I don't know, um, this movie is, um, the, the Rob Zombie movie is, uh, it's 50-50, I want to say. It's 50-50. A lot of people like this movie and say it's a good remake. A lot of people prefer the John Carpenter version, original. But, I don't know. I like both. I really like both. And uh, this movie is really good. It's actually made by Dimension Films. So, that's cool. Uh, Dimension Films makes uh, pretty good movies, I want to say. And... Um, over here you have the special features right here. I like the uh, I like the fact that over here this cover is kind of misleading because like I mean right here there are scenes where um you know his um the mask that he wears. I mean, look at his hair. It's so short as opposed to when he appears, uh, I believe without the mask, but uh, in shadow right here. He's got pretty long hair. I don't know. So Michael Myers I mean, I don't know if Michael Myers has, like, the, the actor who originally played Michael Myers has long hair or anything. But in this movie, he shows up with long hair. Whereas when he puts on the mask... I mean, I believe the mask itself has uh, fake hair right there. But it's really short, you know. So it's kind of misleading. But either way, it, this is a really, really good movie. This, uh, this, this brings the director's cut as well. Uh, this is a two disc set as you, as you just, as you just seen. So here's disc one and here's disc two, which is the special features. And disc one brings the, f the, the movie itself and a commentary by Rob Zombie. Whereas this two has the special features, which brings, uh, an alternate ending I'm not, I'm not really going to spoil the alternate ending there. Uh, phone's ringing. Over here, you have deleted scenes with optional director's commentary. You have bloopers, the many masks of Michael Myers. This is really, really interesting. This, the many masks of Michael Myers. This, uh, th this here uh, talks about, you know, how many movies Michael Myers has been in and the history of Michael Myers. Uh, different actors portraying Michael Myers in different movies and things like that. So this is a really good um, this is a really really good video right here. The many masks of Michael Myers. Then you have reimagining Halloween. This one talks about how uh, Rob Zombie kind of like takes the Halloween series, you know, from Rob, from um, uh, John Carpenter, and 
remolds it in his image, the, the Halloween series. And the reason I call it a series is because you'll get to another one in a minute here. But uh, he talks about how uh, he takes the, the original Halloween and re-releases it in his image. Really, really good uh, idea there. Uh, and, and, and it explains where the idea for this remake came from. Uh, by Rob Zombie himself. Uh, meet the cast. This is... Uh, this, they, they, uh, it's a interview talking about the cast and who's in this movie. You know, all the actors here. Uh, casting sessions. <laughs> this part, th this right here is, uh, is like every single time that the, the, the actors had to read their lines and act it out and stuff like the bloopers and how many times they had to get it right. And until, you know, until Rob's, um, until Rob Zombie said, okay, we're good. <laughs> you guys are good. All right. Moving on to the next scene. That's really, really, um, interesting. Laurie Strode's screen test. This is um this is when they took the character, uh, when the actress for Laurie Strode, uh, first approached to make this remake, and uh, it shows all her takes and you know things that uh, she did while getting the role, uh, no after getting the role and uh, acting out her lines and and acting out her character, and just just to see if she would be cast, which she was, but um you know, rehearsals and things like that. So that's really, really nice. And then you have the theatrical trailer. I love when DVDs bring the trailer. Um, to me, it's not really a big issue if they don't at all. But if they do, that's just, just a plus for me. I mean, if you release a DVD and you, you decide to uh, release the trailer as a special feature that comes with the DVD, that is really cool. Like... People don't have to do that, but I love when they go the extra step and they release the trailer for the DVD, you know, for the movie on the DVD as a special feature. So that is really, really cool that, that the trailer is in this movie. You know, I love that. I love when, when DVD companies do that. And here you have the, the sequel to the remake. It says it right here, uh, uh, Rob Zombie film. This is, I got the theatrical edition, um, which sadly, this is, uh, this was the, the version that came in the theaters. And I mean, it's not as bloody. It's not as scary as I thought it would be because this was released in theaters. So I don't know if I see, if, if I see another version, like if I see the unrated version or the special edition or you know, like right here, the unrated version. If I find the unrated version for Halloween 2, Families Forever, I'm going to re be replacing this. I'm definitely going to be replacing this if I find the unrated version. But this this is a pretty decent sequel. It's a pretty good sequel for what it is. And, and it shows um, there's more, you know, there's more scenes that show, you, you know, graphic and... and more graphic detailed scenes and there's Malcolm McDowell again. So Malcolm McDowell reprises his role in this movie and uh it, it's more of like a a a a grittier take on Halloween 2 on the on the original Halloween 2. So I mean this is a good sequel. It's a good sequel and there's the disc right there. I like how the disc has um, Michael Myers' face on it. You know, it it's got a, like a black outline of his... Um, not an outline, but yeah, an outline of his face, of his face mask. And this one, he, this mask here, um, if, you, if you haven't already noticed, this is Michael Myers' original mask right here on the remake. But as the movie drags on, you get the sequel. And in the sequel, his mask gets completely destroyed. Uh, as the movie progresses, you see how the mask just gets destroyed and destroyed and destroyed. And to the point where he barely has it on anymore. Uh, right here. See, because there's like openings and 
you know, rips, tears on his mask. And so that's cool. There's a, there's a, 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 a sense of progression for the character. So I think that's very cool. Great idea that they thought of that, you know. Because it shows that even though Michael Myers it keeps coming, uh, you know, it, it, even though, like, um, uh, Michael Myers keeps coming back over and over and over and over again, he still gets hurt. Like, he, he might be, like, a, you know, art undead or what have you, but he still gets hurt. And you see the progression of his character, you know, as he gets hurt and you know, uh, evolves from being a complete psychopath to over the top. I mean, just look at this image. Look at this image and compared to this one. This is, I mean, this is nothing compared to this. At least to me, this is really, really horrifying. One of the most original and shocking entries in the series I mean, kind of have to agree with you on that, Tony Timpone. Kind of have to agree with you on that. Uh, but, um, yeah, this is really, really good. I love the rain, the rain texture and everything. Uh, you, you know, hit him in, in at night in the rain and stuff. So, really, really cool. Both movies. If you haven't seen these movies for what they are, uh, I, I recommend you buy them or just watch them, re-watch them anywhere. You can, like, online or what have you. If you find the, the original uh, Halloween um, John Carpenter movies, watch them. Like, they are so good. But this is, you know, you, you shouldn't sleep on this. This is a really, really good remake. Uh, way to go, Rob Zombie. You, like, he really did, did these movies justice. At least to me, you know. Obviously, they'll never be as good as the original. Nothing ever is. But... For what they are, they're really good. Uh, moving on to Puppet Master here. Excuse me. This is the... Uh... Oh, gas. Oh, excuse me. This is uh, Puppet Master here. And uh, these movies here were given to me by a really good friend of mine. But yeah, these movies are crazy. Um, the Puppet Master is kind of like... Um, people being killed by puppets. That's the whole movie. That is literally the whole movie. And uh, what I mean by that is just one movie. There's so many movies. Nine, in fact, right here. There are nine movies in total. Uh, right here, if you go on the back, you have Puppet Master. You got Puppet Master 2, Puppet Master 3, The Toulon's Revenge. Puppet Master 4, Puppet Master 5, Puppet Master 6, Curse of the Puppet Master, Puppet Master 7, Retro Puppet Master, Puppet Master 8, The Legacy, and Puppet Master 9, Axis of Evil. Now, one thing that I want to talk about uh, are movie titles. I'm fine. I'm making it clear. I am perfectly fine with having subtitles for your movies. That is... I am 100% for that. But if you release a sequel, take note from this. Puppet Master, Puppet Master 2, Puppet Master 3, Toulon's Revenge. That, to me, is okay. If they would have called this uh, Puppet Master Toulon's Revenge, or Puppet Master Curse of the Puppet Master, you know, or Puppet Master Retro Puppet Master, or Puppet Master The Legacy, you know, that kind of thing. I do not like that I have, I don't know, I guess you could call it OCD. I don't like it when a movie is released and then the sequels are named, uh, have like subtitles without them being plain and simple that it's a sequel to another. Uh, for example, the perfect example of that would be the Rocky movies. Rocky 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, you know, Rocky's, R Rocky is a perfect example because... That's what it's. That's what it should be. At least to me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's basically. But when you add a subtitle, try to still keep the number on the title, because if this would be 
Puppet Master 3 Toulon's Revenge. It makes so much more sense than if they would have just called it Puppet Master Toulon's Revenge. I don't know. I just... Th that's just me. I, I have a... Uh, I don't know. I have a personal gripe with that. That's... You know, that's a per... You know, you don't have to, but that's a, per a personal preference of mine. But either way, moving that aside, uh, the Puppet Master is a really good puppet horror movies. And, um... This is what the discs look like here. So you got Puppet Master 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Curse of the Puppet Master, Retro, Puppet Master Legacy, and Puppet Master Axis of Evil. I've yet to see these movies. I've only seen Puppet Master 1 and 2. I still need to see 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. The rest of the movies. So I've only seen 1 and 2. But from what I've seen, I really like these. These are really, really good. And from what I understand... There are, the, the, this guy right here, this guy's like the leader of the puppets, and he controls every single one of these, and um, every single puppet in the movie, he controls, and supposedly he's like a, uh, th there's a spirit of somebody stuck in a puppet, which makes him evil, but yeah, and what I like about this is that it's more campy and humorous than just scary, because every single puppet in this movie is stop motion animation like to 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 um what am i looking for to combine there you go to combine stop motion animation and you know live action and and, and movement is it makes for a really good movie it makes for a really good popcorn movie so yeah definitely check this collection out if you find it uh charles band presents the puppet master collection nine movies right here so if you can if you can hunt this down and watch it because this is horror slash popcorn entertainment this is really fun there are some funny funny really funny moments here so uh definitely uh check this out check this movie for what it is all of these movies really good uh movies here and now we move on to more horror stuff but uh less campy unless you count night of the living dead which i will talk about that later but uh then you have here the strangers this is a really really weird movie uh, i have the unrated version but what's really scary about this movie is not the fact that it's, you know, puppets attacking people or, you know, uh, Jigsaw, like the Saw movies. No, what's really weird about this movie is, okay, the plot of this movie is essentially a bunch of people get trapped in their house and three masked people just come to their house and hold them hostage while torturing them this is and or killing them this movie is so weird like and it's kind of terrifying because this actually happened inspired by true events this is i've never seen this movie and i'm hoping not to this is really really scary so this brings two versions on one disc here the strangers this was released by universal uh i have the unrated version i don't know how i came across this movie but i did and um yeah this this shows Two movies in one, so it brings the theatrical and the unrated version, so. I mean, I don't know what else to say about this. This is really horrifying. I've never seen this movie, and I don't plan on watching it anytime soon. Kill Cruise basically is kind of the same thing, I want to say, but it's on a boat. So this movie here... Looks old for its time. It's released, you know, it's released in 2001, but the pictures and stills and, you know, the scenes here, 
as well as this. Um, they look like they were, th this movie looks like it was done. Get another one of those, uh, you know, see one of those, uh, DVDs with just with a title, but, um, yeah, mirror, that's what they call it. Mirror. It's one of those mirror DVDs. But um, this movie, it was made in 2001. But it looks like it was done in the 90s. Where with like really poor camera work. Uh, like really old cameras. Even the, um, even the main picture here. Uh, the DVD logo. It says Kill Crew's here, but the cover is weird because the cover use it looks like old footage used, like filmed with a very old grainy camera. That's really weird. And here's the other actress. Really, really weird. It's not like they didn't. It, it's like they took scenes from the movie, which is exactly what they did. They took scenes from the movie. And kind of compiled it all together and made the DVD cover and called it Kill Cruise. There it is. Boom. It's with uh, Patsy Kensick, uh, Jurgen Prochnow, and Elizabeth Hurley. They, 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 they took footage. Uh, they, they took pictures from the footage of the movie and plastered it on top on in front of the DVD. And there you go. There's your DVD cover. Yeah... This, this, this movie is good, but it's like the, 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 with the camera they used, it's aged really, the, the images have aged really horrible. I don't know. It's a, it's, it's an interesting movie. It's good, but it shows the quality. It, it, it really shows the quality. Uh, recommend watching it. Uh, and this was also, this was released by Front Row Entertainment in Canada. Okay. Uh, then you have Night of the Living Dead here. This is the, excuse me, this is the 50th anniversary. And I have this on Blu-ray because it's Night of the Living Dead. Well, what what other reason do you have? But um, this is uh, this has the Blu-ray and the digital, and um, yeah, this is really really good. George Romero, Night of the Living Dead, and this is this is uh, since it's Blu-ray, it's um, digitally remastered, but it's still in black and white. You know, it's all it's the original. There are scenes from the movie itself tell like zombies zombies and more zombies but um yeah this is um they keep coming back in a bloodthirsty lust for human flesh one of the 20th scariest movies of all time by entertainment weekly um this is for sure a cult classic and you know i'm glad that they i i, I hope that they uh keep a uh, releasing movies like this not just night of the living dead but more zombie movies that you know go for the atmosphere of of what night of the living dead was and i'll be honest i want to talk about night of the living dead because there's so many versions of this movie no joke there's an uncut version there's an unrated version there's a deleted scenes version there's the original version there's a theatrical version there's so many versions of this movie i think night of the living dead is one of the most if not the most re-released horror movie of all time they've always like everyone and has always tried and succeeded apparently to release Night of the Living Dead. So Night of the Living Dead. I mean. You could find this movie anywhere. Anywhere. And I guarantee you. You'll see. You'll get the exact same movie. Even though yours might be a different version of mine. Mine is the 50th anniversary. 
But you basically get the same thing. You know. I I probably haven't seen it, but I'm sure there's a version out there of Night of Living Dead that um is in color. If it is, let me know because I would love to see this movie in color. This is a really good movie. I love Night of the Living Dead, but I've never seen Night of the Living Dead in color. So, yeah. Of all the versions that are out there of Night of the Living Dead, you know, seeing it in color would definitely uh, breathe new life to this movie. At least to me, at least in my opinion. Uh, but great, great movies for sure. Night of the Living Dead is a classic. Uh, if, if anybody likes zombie movies... And don't and uh, doesn't have Night of the Living Dead. I recommend you get on it because, I mean, you're missing out on quite a lot. Really good, uh, really good uh, movie, Night of the Living Dead. And now we get to the movies that are really terrifying, which are the Saw movies here. I can't really talk too much about the Saw movies because I don't watch, I haven't seen any Saw movies and I don't plan on to seeing them. I don't plan on watching them anytime soon. But these are, in my opinion, the most horrifying movies I own in my collection. This is terrifying. This movie is, um, this right here is the original Saw movie and it's with... Obviously, I don't know too much about the Saw movies because I choose not to watch them, but I'll do my best. I will try and do my best to see, to talk about what these are about. But essentially, the Saw movies, um, gripping, intelligent, surprising, and genuinely in ingenious. Uh, so, supposedly, the plot of these movies are... Uh, for anyone that hasn't really seen them, is most people uh, in, in, in the world are, you know, they're, they're bankers, they're lawyers, they're weird, you know, they're regular people who play with other people's lives, you know, uh, essentially. And um, Jigsaw which is a puppet Let's see if i could find an image well I'll, I'll show you an image later on so uh because there i have um cases where jigsaw appears but essentially jigsaw takes these people you know the lawyers the the, the people that play with other people's lives and kind of teaches them the meaning of life the real meaning of life by playing with their lives. Uh, and th th he subjects them to like his weird twisted idea of games where, you know, they, um, you know, re reach this, reach the, the, the timer in this X amount of time or your head blows up or it just subjects them to really terrifying stuff. And what I don't like about these movies is everything uh here's saw 2 this dvd cover is terrifying to me you know those fingernails that is just ugh, gross but uh basically it's um this is jigsaw for those of you i haven't seen this is jigsaw and as i mentioned he's a puppet and he basically, uh, again, plays with people's lives and subjects them to torturous things. And the way they go about it is whoever survives it... Uh, oh yes, there will be blood. Whoever survives his torturous games... Um, this is full screen edition. Would... Uh, you know, he's he comes out unscathed, or mostly unscathed. Uh, but, you know, still people like, like loose limbs, break everything. It, this is bloody disgusting. This is, to, to, to put it nicely, this is bloody disgusting. These Saw movies are horrifying. 
here's some uh, pictures on the back so you can see um you know this is you know whoever made these movies you have a seriously sick you have a seriously sick twisted sense of humor uh saw three this is more or less like all these movies are the exact same thing but this is more of the same thing this is teeth hanging oh brutal i'll show you this dvd as well if you if, if you if you guys are interested in seeing this i'll pull this out right now there you go that is jigsaw that's the real jigsaw and uh, i think these movies are released by lionsgate this is the unrated edition uh the unrated version so you know and the taglines are just really really uh off putting like right here suffering you haven't seen anything yet so basically these the the, the 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 taglines are really scary face your fears you know like uh, i think that's a pig's head Props to you, sir, whoever you are who made the Saw movies, because, I mean, I dare anyone to watch these movies and not, you know, be afraid at least a little bit. Th th these movies are gruesome. And th I'll show you this one, too. It's basically the exact same idea. This over here. There's a red saw here. Yeah. This one is a Lionsgate. Most of these are like most of these are Lionsgate. So this is the widescreen edition. An intense nail biter. Ryan Rotten, you are correct, sir. It's a trap. This is really, really scary. So here's Saw 5, right here. And this one is even more terrifying. This is uh, an x-ray machine. Man. This is just gruesome. And uh, again, this one here. This one's blue, right here. So, by the way, for anybody that's a fan of these movies and you want to get some stuff, pause the video, go to there and get some stuff. But, man, like, I can't even imagine what they were thinking when they made these. even imagine uh saw six the unrated version um most of these are unrated uh anyway so this is the widescreen unrated version so this is the uh the number five with the um tubes coming down which it's number one so five six roman numerals uh the game has come full circle these movies are not are uh, numbered by roman numerals so i'll show you this one as well again see-through case this one brings the movie as well as the yeah the original movie and the unrated director's cut so this, this one's a two disc uh this one is widescreen Um, most people prefer the white, the, the full screen, like myself, but I don't have any problems with the widescreen version. Uh, I, I, I watch movies widescreen or full screen. I just prefer the movie full screen. And then you have Saw 7, the final chapter. And this one doesn't have a sleeve. This one did not come with a sleeve, but the, the cover is still see-through. 
So let me open this one. And this is a uh, this is the red saw. You know, Twisted Pictures, Lionsgate. Yeah. So yeah, this one did not come with a sleeve. Instead, it's like a see-through cover. There's Jigsaw's logo, you know, the, the hypnotizing wheel and stuff. So that's my, um, that's essentially all my entire uh, horror movie uh, collection here. Uh, I mean, I would have more. I really want to get more horror movies, but essentially that's all I have for now. I'll probably get more in the future and I'll make a video on those as well. Oh, I almost forgot these two. Uh, these two were like uh, dollar DVDs here. Let me take them out here. Uh, these are dollar DVDs and uh, these are more of like horror movies. Well, yeah, horror movies, but they're more like uh, regular monster movies like Freddy vs. Jason, Jason Goes to Hell. Um, th 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 okay, Freddy vs. Jason... Everybody knows Freddy vs. Jason, but I doubt people have seen this one, this movie. So, oh, the DVD fell out. Okay, so mine is broken. Not the DVD, the case. This, this case is broken. See these plastic little nubs? One is broken and this one, two are broken, so they're easy to come off. But yeah, this is uh, this is the original Freddy vs. Jason. Uh, here's Freddy Krueger, and this is Jason Voorhees. I really like Freddy vs. Jason. Freddy vs. Jason is uh, it's a classic horror movie, uh, a, horror, a classic monster movie that you know a lot of people have obviously seen by now. And uh, this one brings the widescreen and full screen versions of the film. Uh, it brings commentary by director Ronnie Yu, Robert England, and Ken Kurtzinger. And um, this one has an extra options menu here. And uh, this one has, and this one brings the deleted scenes, uh, original opening and ending with filmmaker commentary. It has behind the scenes, you know, the set, the makeup, the stunts, the storyboard and galleries, the original theatrical trailer and TV spots. Um, it's got a music video by El Nino, uh, you know, visual effects exploration. And this one ha also has a DVD ROM, uh, edition, uh, which is script. It has script to screen, which shows how they put the script, you know, how the, how the actors follow the script and put it into like big, the big screen and things like that. Enhanced playback mode. I don't know what that is. Cutting room floor edit activity. I'm guessing this is like a like a, a a game or something, one of those visual games and stuff. And you get a lot more with this as well. So this is all really good. Uh, this is a really good port of the movie, uh, especially if you like uh, Freddy vs. Jason quite a lot. And um, this is one of those uh, dollar DVDs because it's super thin. But if for a for what you get with a dollar. It's so good. This has a lot of good stuff. So definitely check this out. Freddy vs. Jason. Uh, hunt down any copy you can. It doesn't have to be this one. But it's still it's still great. Uh, it's still a great movie to, to own. And here you have this one. This is the unrated and R-rated versions of this movie. And I do like the DVD cover. This is really creepy. It's got a silverish mask. This has the most incredible ending we've ever seen by Fangoria. It does. It really does. Especially uh, for a movie that is very little known in the Freddy vs. Jason uh, series. Uh, universe. Whatever you want to call it. Uh, really good movie. And, his ma and uh, Jason's mask is different. There's Jason right there. So this is mostly the story of Jason. Um, let me open this DVD cover here. This is the unrated and R-rated versions. 
both come on one disc. So this is a really creepy movie. Really creepy movie. Uh, yeah, if anybody hasn't seen this movie, definitely give it a watch. It's really good. At least what I think. But uh, yeah, it's it's very little known. Uh, it's a very little known movie. Uh, e even in the, like, you know, even for fans of Freddy vs. Jason and Jason, uh, fans in general. Uh, by the way, question, is his name Jason Voorhees or Jason X? I'm, I think it's Jason Voorhees. I think it's like his full name is Jason Voorhees. I don't know, let me know, let me know in the comments. Is his name Jason X or Jason Voorhees? I'm going with Jason Voorhees. So... Yeah, that's my, um, so that's it, Jace, th this movie and uh, Freddy vs. Jason, really good movies, really good uh, movies, especially the, especially the original, uh, you can't go wrong with the original. So that does it for my horror, uh, speci specifically horror movies in depth, um, I really like most of the horror movies that I own, especially, you know, the Halloween and Halloween 2. You know, all these movies are really good, especially the zombie movies. If you could get your hands on most of them, I would totally recommend getting them for sure. Like, without a second thought, if you're fans of like horror movies or zombie movies in general, I totally would recommend um, getting these movies. But if I had to choose two, like uh, my top three, let's put it let's put it that way, my top three movies, it would be Dawn of the Dead, the this this complete set, the Ultimate Edition. Like I said, brings different cuts of the bring, brings like three different cuts of the movie, a comic book, and things like that. So that's really cool. Evil Dead. as well as Army of Darkness. Definitely, definitely these three. That's my top three. However, that it, there is no denying that this is a good movie, a good remake, as well as this. Not to mention the Puppet Master movies. Really good series of movies. But, you know, you said, I, I mentioned top three, so. Zombie movies. I always, I'm always gonna like zombie movies, no matter what. So, also, Night of Living Dead. Night of Living Dead is unquestionably one of the greatest, for sure. So, there are my horror movies and my recommendations for them, as well as the zombie movies. And this came to saying, 